Whether you're new to the category in general or you're just really bad and you want to get better, sniping in Call of Duty games and any FPS game can be very, very difficult. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my five tips that I recommend for beginners if you guys are new to sniping. If you guys like this video, feel free to subscribe and also turn on post notifications if you guys want to see more content from me. Hope you guys enjoy and let's just get into the first tip. Coming in with tip number one, we have do not rush in public matches. If you guys want to actually try and snipe in your public lobbies, skill-based matchmaking can be quite a pain. So don't rush in game. You're gonna just constantly die from people that just wanna camp and do a whole bunch of crazy stuff that you thought you couldn't even exist in Call of Duty. So rushing a game is not just gonna cause you to be agitated, but it's gonna make you wanna quit the game. And that's a no-no, especially when you wanna try to learn something new. You don't wanna give up too easily because you never know, you might be the next phase scope, you never know. Coming in at tip number two, we have stay calm and relax. If you guys are relaxed and you guys are staying calm in game, you're not frustrated, you're not sitting there getting mad over everything, you will realize that your shots are actually more confident and they'll start hitting more often and you'll see yourself making progress. Because I know that a lot of people when they play, they have anxiety or they just have the fear of not going to hit their shots. And I've been there, trust me, I realize it all the time. And it even happens to me. When you stay calm and you actually start hitting your shots more often, you realize that you're making progress and it's going to actually improve your mood. Coming in at number three, we have utilizing the private match and firing range. Now, if you're someone that cares about your KD, especially in Call of Duty games, you're going to want to make sure that you're not constantly dying because that KD is very important. And utilizing the private match, playing against bots, and also practicing in the firing range can not just improve your aim, but you'll be able to counter players even playing against bots. And you can also increase the difficulty for your convenience. There you have recruit, regular, and also hardened. So you guys can actually pick which level you guys want to start out with. Coming in at number four, we have creating a personalized class. Everyone always likes to pick what's fastest and what actually is the best weapon according to a lot of popular snipers. But doing that, it's not really that good all the time simply because if you actually utilize your attachments and make it to where it's comfortable for you, you will be more comfortable sniping and it also creates uniqueness for your playstyle. Some playstyles don't always like to have a quick sniper. For example, I don't really like the car and how fast it is. I actually make it slower to match my playstyle because it's more comfortable. Last but not least, coming in at number five, we do have the adding in-game perks. Adding in-game perks in Call of Duty, they have so many different options to actually help improve your sniping, such as the commando gloves and also with the quick grip gloves. And if you want to, you can also add the overkill vest, which in that case, you can actually run two snipers. That way you can practice even more with two different weapons. And maybe even that might be your comfortable play style. So I love how many options that they have. And this will also help you be able to make a class that's also unique for your playstyle as I said with the other tip as well and I think that this is really gonna help a lot of players because I use the quick grip gloves personally to actually help with my swap speed that way if I'm pushing I can actually just swap to my different sniper and it just makes it so much more comfortable to play all right guys, well that is it for today's video. If you guys find that these tips are very helpful to you, feel free to go ahead and like this video and subscribe. That way you guys can get more content from me. I found that these tips work for me to help me improve my sniping and I hope that they work well for you too. If you guys wanna see more content as well, you guys can also follow my Twitch. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.